Yo, what's good, my G's? Uh, it's a late one tonight. I just, I just thought I would, I drop in on y'all about some insight on willpower. Yeah, I was just reading this book about willpower anyway, and I just had a thought. I was like, it was talking about like having willpower for like, let's say, to defeat addictions, cravings, and also for athletes, teachers, everyone really, you know. So this book was talking about how this guy started a course on willpower. And a lot of people like though in those um, different aspects of life are coming to to understand how they can obviously like improve their willpower and just like be more focused and stuff. And it just got me thinking about how I improved my willpower, right? But I didn't really take a course for it or I did do like all that stuff, right? What I excuse me. All I did was right is I had I had intention and goals to do something. Let's say I wanted to do music, right? And I wanted to get into good shape. And then also I, I just got into like, when I got into good shape and get I got into eating right, like I, I, one thing knocks onto another is what I'm trying to say pretty much. So like, let's say if you're on your passion, right? Like if you're focused on things that really matter to you, like your dreams, you are not going to have time to have cravings or addictions or things like that. Or if you're working towards like getting fit at the gym, having a good body you're going to be eating good food like and with the luck of having the internet now and all these kind of resources for eating good and actually enjoying good food there's no reasons to have a craving once you do your research i found like i had a craving for sweets i used to eat donuts biscuits all these like sugary stuff and once i started looking up snacks that like instead of like having those sweet like having like those stuff that like made my skin break out made me not not like feel like i was like a bit sick after like shout out to my skin though like my skin is looking pretty damn good now like you know what i'm saying and my teeth and everything like it just it just you, the more you eat well the more you get buzzed about looking and feeling good so anyway right i started eating like snacks that are tasty and they even taste a bit sweet too like but they're much healthier like eat blueberries and yogurt blueberry yogurt and it's like not that sweet as what I'd be having like a biscuit and be feeling sick after and blueberries are good for bone health and everything and they taste good so like frozen blueberries especially like so having little snacks like that kind of stopped me from having my these sweets and all that stuff like that and Ben and Jerry's came out with like some vegan ice cream and stuff like that so I would treat myself like on the weekends to a bit of vegan ice cream and that's it not like eating donuts and biscuits every day but moral of the story is pretty much is that you can find little ways to kind of like pick up good habits rather than having bad habits and if you're on a passion if you're really like because like i feel like from a young age we're not taught how we can actually chase our passion and chase the things that we love the most like even if you have dreams like everything people are always just like nah man i can't really do that i don't really want to do that and it's like they're it's like they're making you embrace laziness and embrace not be being determined in yourself to be great and do great things so like that affects your mindset and your willpower to go do great things or to to make sure that you're always buzzed about something like so pretty much like if you have a passion that can help you like have that vigor about life and be able to beat your addiction like if you have an alcohol addiction smoke addiction or whatever like you'll be like oh man i want to be a really dope musician i want to be a really good a athlete so like you'll be working on that and once you see yourself progress the time that you used to have to going drinking or going smoking and stuff you're just like nah bro i don't want to do that right now like you just build 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 and it just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking until you're like man why did i even have that addiction like you know so that's what i figured out on my path about like how you how i kind of you, you can kind of be these little things and grow your willpower like and just make it's just about making everything a habit good things like so i like get out the shower every day like when i get out the shower when i do something like get out the shower or when i make food right after i do an act like that i make a song let's say it's like i get up um take a shower make a song i have lunch make a song i go outside for a run come back make a song so it's like intervals of great like of what your passion is so like let's say you make you go hop in the shower and let's say you play basketball you hop in the shower and then you take your basketball outside for like five minutes dribble 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 like you, you want to do you want to be able to dunk so you go outside do your 10 jumps or whatever like that so like in the intervals of your daily life things fit in 
constant achievements and goals of like getting little bits done, you know, and that builds up a lot. You will realize how quick and how fast, like as humans, we can, we level up pretty fast. Like, so you will just realize the progression. So for all the people that are trying to, to get on their grind, build their will and just be, be, be passionate and just like grow something. That is the one, like one note, because you can be around people. Jeez. Oh God, you hear that? That's my mom's laughing. Like she, <laughs> she's got a habit for her netflix bro like oh god bro that's a bro she funny bro but like it's nice to have like see i used to be i used to be on like netflix and all that like and watching series but like i realized as well that's another thing right like i don't watch series that much anymore because like i'm trying to create my own series of shows like create my own things you know so like i find that sometimes when i'm spending more time on things like that i'm losing out on time for my creations so I feel like in life, there's so many things around that make you like follow other people's things. You know, like let's say you, you, you wake up and now you're on someone's Instagram. You wake up now you're watching a TV show. You wake up and all of these are, part, are your creations. Like obviously you influence that we're all living in a universal world. So we're influencing each other on a subconscious level. But like, are you using that those subconscious influences to create your own show create your own music create your own like sport man because think right sports were created right like when was the last time someone created their own sport like really think about it like like bat we've got basketball we've got soccer and all these things and they were created by someone we've got instruments that were also created by someone so who's the next person that's going to create an instrument who's the next person that's going to create a sport that will be played for hundreds of years like think how many how long people have been playing basketball and soccer soccer from and who created those like just it's mad right it's crazy so when you're a creator and you're trying to get up on that bro your will is on, on honestly like making something that will pe people will be doing for hundreds of years imagine if you were like uh yeah i created basketball bro people are playing basketball people people are playing basketball because i made basketball like wouldn't that be nuts? People are playing piano because I created the piano. Like thousands or hundreds of people, something that you made, right? For me, that's like one of the most beautiful, most like, that's like magic, bro. That's magic. Like that is the true definition of magic. So in the aspect of willpower and all that, bro, that's, that's my kind of mentality to push me to like have that little will every day to get that grind, to get that hustle and make sure things are on like, a higher level but yeah that book really made me think like that and kind of reignited my, my my thought flow about all that stuff so yeah bro get on your books get on your grind and wake up and, and hustle and do your thing and build your willpower i'm a crash now and wake up in like three hours and try try get my hustle up you know so have a good night my g's peace and one love this has been the insights from your boy farai out you bye boy